Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can hot foil some of the images from the Whimsical Flower Bunch colouring sheets. So you can see here that I have the colouring sheets. Now the ones that you are going to be able to foil with a laminator are going to be the black ones because these ones do have the toner ink on there. So this is the ones that you're going to want to grab when you are doing this technique. So once I have picked one of the sheets and I've gone for this one with the large image, again using the black outline, and then going to go ahead and color the images in. So for some of the leaves, I am going to be using some really vibrant greens. So first up, I went in with the moss just at the base of the leaf. Then I went a little bit further into the petal using the olive and then the parrot color to kind of go over the whole of the image to blend all of the colors together and give that great blended gradient look. So I'm gonna do that same technique for most of the leaves. So the moss at the base, then the olive, and then color over all of the leaves with the parrot. So that's gonna be for most of them. Once I have, a, you know, most of those leaf clusters in that color, I'm then gonna to change to a different green color. So for the other greens, I am gonna be using the beautiful Hunter Green as the base. I'm then gonna take the Adjust Green, take that color out a little bit further, and I'm then gonna be using the Firefly just to kind of blend those colors together and give a really great look there. So once all of the leaves are completed, I'm then gonna move on to the flowers. Now I'm gonna start off with this largest one that we have here. The same technique as before, so I'm gonna add the darkest color at the base of the petals. And for this one, I am gonna be using the Vineyard Berry. I'm then gonna take the beautiful Heartbeat color next, take that further up into the petal, and then I'm gonna take the lightest color, which is the Pink Pearl, to color in all of the little petals to give that gradient effect. So once I finish the red one, I can then move on to these blue colors that we have here for the little pointy flowers. We have three of these. So for these ones, I will be using the very pretty ultramarine. Once I have added that to the base of all of the little petals there, I'm then gonna go in with the Eastern Sky and then color those out with the Iceberg ink. Then for the really small flowers, we do have the Lagoon for the base. Then we have the Volcano Lake to add a little bit more color further into the flower and then the Mountain Mist to blend all of those colors together. So once I have finished with the flower petals, I'm then going to move on to the flower centers. So for these, I did use a mix of oranges and yellows. So for the oranges, I am going to be using the fire brick, the autumn blaze, and also a little bit of the sun kiss to add a kind of um, highlight effect onto those. Once I finished with the orange, I can then move on to some yellows. And for the yellows, I'm gonna be using the maple yellow, the fresh lemon, and also the very pretty citrus burst. And you can see that I've colored in those little berries as well as the flower centers using that bright yellow color. So as you can see, there is the image all nicely colored. I'm then gonna add a little bit more detail to the images using some of the woodless coloring pencils. I do like to do this all I'm doing is adding a really dark color at the base of the colored image just with a couple of flicks of the colored pencil just to add a really great depth there. It adds a lot of interest. You may not think that it makes a huge deal to the image but I think just those couple of extra strokes in there really really does make the image pop a little bit more. So once I'm happy with the amount of color that I have down there, I'm then gonna do some foiling. Now you are gonna need some foiling um, sheets that work with a toner ink. So this is the one that you work with your laminator. So I'm just gonna take some gold foil and I'm gonna place that over the image. As you can see, the image is a bit larger than the foil I have here. So I'm just gonna overlap that. I'm then gonna take the whole of the piece and pop that inside some of um, a piece of copy paper. And I folded that and that's gonna help everything kind of stick together while we do run this through the laminator. So the laminator is gonna heat up that toner ink that we have on the image and then the foil is gonna to stick to that heat up, heated up ink. So as you can see, we've got the foiling where the outline lines are, which is very, very pretty. 
So once I'm happy with all of that, I'm then gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. So I'm just gonna fussy cut around the whole of this image. As you can see, I am leaving a little white border around the image. This really does help speed up the process of fussy cutting and makes it a whole lot easier. So once I had my image, I then decided I wanted to put it on two cards because I've spent that much time on the image. I wanted to put it on two rather than just one card. So I'm gonna add a strip of pattern paper down one edge of the card and have the image poking through that one. So I'm just cutting this down to around about an inch and also a panel that is four and a quarter inches across. And that is from the Essentials Black and White. I'm also going to take another card panel, which was four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to cut that on the diagonal. And this is going to have the image poking from here out of the diagonal cut that we've just done. And then we're going to have that beautiful background polka dots on the base, the card base itself. So once I have cut the image in half, I can then adhere this behind this little panel that we have. I've just added a little bit of glue tape behind there and then popped that into place. I'm gonna do the same with the other piece, again adding the adhesive onto that little piece of pattern strip first, and then I'm gonna pop the image popping through there. Once those are in place, I can then kind of uh, reinforce that join with a little bit of foam tape onto the image, and that's gonna keep those together and also pop them up from the card. The sentiments I'm going to be using on these cards are from the Crafty Life stamp set. This is such a fun stamp set with some really great sentiments in there. So I'm just going to be stamping those onto the card panel or the card base using some obsidian ink. And I did mix and match the sentiments for these. I just didn't use the same ones for each card. So once I'm done with that, I'm then going to cut a little bit of that panel. So this was four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just gonna trim um, a little bit just to make sure that that's gonna be behind. You could use a full sheet if you wanted to, but I didn't wanna waste this really pretty patterned paper. Once that's done, I'm gonna add some of the foam tape behind. I didn't add the foam tape to this one before I used the sentiment because it would have been harder for me to stamp that into place. So once all the backing has been removed, I can add that into place onto the card base and then move on to the other one. Again, removing the backing of that foam tape before popping that onto the card panel. Once that's done, I'm just gonna flip these over and then cut off any overhanging pieces from behind. And then the cards are complete. I really do love how these turned out. That's beautiful foiling as well as the coloring and the pattern paper all works together wonderfully. I really do hope that you've enjoyed the video and that you like the cards that we created too. If you do create a card that was inspired by this, it'd be great if you do share, because we'd love to see. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye. Hello there, crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials are just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.